buddy. It's a hot one today here in the shop. Uh, it's well over 100. Got the fan cooking over here to get a little air on me. Anyway, it's summertime. It's Florida. What do you expect? Normal. Just getting a little older. Body doesn't like tolerating it. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to cut the corners out, both sides, put the pieces in, fit them in place, get this done get this car ready so I can put it on the rotisserie. Okay, so this is Dan French's 55. I'm putting the tail pin in. I gotta cut these corners out. Um, it went right in. The alignment's really good up and down. The heights are correct all the way through. And so what I do is when I lay these pans in here, I get them lined up to where the original markings were as close to as references. And then I check them on the outside wall to where it's at. And then I also keep the deck lid on here so I can make sure I do not lose the profile because on these cars, when you put these trunk pans in, you can pull that whole panel in and out. This panel will move and right now I have it clamped so but it will move laterally on you got to be careful and you can change the profile of what's going on here so it's kind of critical that you pay attention to where it happens where it lies so no big deal I've done many of these um, I'm gonna be cutting these corners out there just this is just not I'm not gonna be able to work off of this we're just putting a nice new panel in I'm gonna patch it on in real nice butt welded in be done and then that'll be my point to where I can put the tail pan in, which is common on all of these. I call it ten of the toe. That's what they used to be called anyway. And uh, this is an area on these cars that's just very common. This has to be done in order for it to go on this rotisserie, which I have all wrapped up. So we're at a point now where it took me about 30 minutes just to carefully, nicely take this out, not abusively rip it out and bend it. Uh, and I'm, I'm not your guy, so I kind of like just like artistically take it out. So I air filed it out in here because there's a tab here, and then there's a tab oh, right on the inside there, and you get them out, and then the rest of it will fall right in line when you actually slide that tab in there, and you butt up against that one. That's your reference. Um, I'm going to replace this. This is not going to stay. A lot of this is just major surface rust and up in here as well. When I get this on the rotisserie, I'll speed blast up in here. I'm actually making these pieces right now. I was going to buy the parts um, that actually go in and replace these, but they fit like crap to begin with, and it's not really badly rotted, so I can easily fabricate and go in, and I don't have any of the profile missing. The car lays really, really nice here, so... I'm going to make these little areas, weld them in real nice, clean them all up. I'm going to treat anything I can't get, so it's going to be fine. And then I can put these outer pieces in and use this as a reference as well as, as here to here. And then once I get that, it just, it, as usual, it falls together pretty good. And keeping that trunk on there is key to getting the gap correct. All right, everybody. So this is where we're at with uh, Dan's 55 Chevy. Uh, yeah, got the sides in, measured up and put in. Everything's good. Everything lines up pretty dang well. So yeah, we're looking pretty good here. Um, I'm going to take all these out now and I'm going to weld them up and get it set. Um, I have my 
Uh, my corner set height nice. Um, tail pan height set nice. I don't have to do anything but just pop a couple of holes in. I think I might panel bond it. I think I might do that. Um, but here we're going to weld it all in and clean it all up and make it look good and just there you go. So anyway, this is the back panel on Dan's car. I got another car to come in that's got to get the same treatment as this one. But this is how I kind of do them. I get them fitted up, lined up. Always keep the deck lid on as usual. Deck lid. And uh, yeah, there we go. Alrighty. So this is what remains of the corners that I took out. They're, they're garbage. And then the inner structure pieces we fabricated and cleaned up. This is what remains of the insides of them too, the left and the rights and the corners here for the inner quarter panel sections. So, yeah, they're junk too. All right, everybody, it's a hot one today. Uh, I've been chipping away at this car for a little bit here. So anyway, it's gonna come off the chassis. This chassis is not going back up underneath this car. It's kind of in bad shape, um, but the car isn't. Uh, we did a lot of repairs on this. We got the back panel of the, the, we have the back panel of the car on, right below the trunk, we call it the tent of the toe. And of course, the corners are in. And up under here, let's see if I can get you all in there in the scope. That's all done up in there. And let's see here. And and that's all done up in there. I just got to dress the welds up in there. Other than that, we're all right. But uh, yeah, um, it's it's a cooker. Nothing new here. Just got to pace yourself. Don't get kidney stones. It's freaking hot. So um, yeah, I'm going to shoot some footage of us uh, taking this thing off. Well, hello, Sprocket. <laughs> Look at this guy. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the chassis, get it out of here, and get this shell on the rotisserie, everybody. All right, let's do this. All right guys, so this is where I'm at with this here. I'm only gonna lift it up so much because I'm really not tied down in the front and I have the weight on that little area back there. And these cars, their pivot point actually, so I've done so many of them, it's really pretty much right here. There's really no weight there, it's all here. The shell weighs approximately about 570 or so. The deck leg can kind of stay on, it's not a big deal, but it does add some weight in the back. And when we start supporting everything, we're actually relying on the corners of the trunk floor, this tail pan piece and the corner piece and inner structure actually to carry the main part of the weight of this car. It was not designed to do this, but we have no choice when we put them on the rotisserie. I've noticed on hard tops, they're, they're heavier than the sedans. So what we found is they start to actually give a little bit here. So we try to make sure we store them on their side 100% of the time, because gravity does its thing on these shells and it's pretty rough on them. The sedans I never noticed too much, but the hard tops, yeah, different story. I like the brace them and just play a nice game with them and just make sure uh, yeah we don't have any more problems than what we got so but uh, yeah this is pretty good I got this at a good height you can get that damn uh, old chassis out of here it's been beat to death it, it it's not even in alignment it'll sit the car wonky most of my settings that I did here I did with a level and check and go off of references of what was and it just came out right on the money so we're pretty proud of that but uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty dang good car. We're going to get a new chassis from Dan. He's going to roll it in after we get this ready to come up the rotisserie.
I got the got this thing up and suspended and tightened down. We're all good. I'm going to turn her up on her side and see how everything goes. And uh, and basically that's it. I'm going to go take a break. I'm melting. <laughs> Uh, guys, it's really a two-person job. You can do it by yourself, but it, you know, because I had the lift, it made it easier. If I didn't have the lift, this would be definitely a two- to three-man job. Hey everybody, Earl here at Classic Car Creations on a Saturday. Going to get you caught up on what's going on here. We did a car rotation. That car got onto the rotisserie, finally. So that's now on the flat here. Niles' car is here, and the Hemi car is right over here. So we got this thing on the rotisserie now. It's moved over here. Me and Big George spent the day and hung out and knocked it out. Rolled it over here very carefully, put her up on her side is how we always store them, and now we're ready to plug weld everything all together. We're gonna remove these rocker panels. They are not stings. If you notice, they're not stitched. We're going to clean all this up here. This is a replacement panel someone had in there. We're going to clean it up and fix that and make it right. And then we're going to plug weld all this and clean all the old garbage off of here. Clean all the garbage off up in there. Same thing on the other sides. Like we always do, guys, this is what we do here. New floors in. Everything is right where it needs to be. And it came out real good. Um, the alignment on this one is really nice. Here's the 69 GTO. Have blankets. It's wrapped up. Still blocking on this car real slowly. Um, it's all because of, hey, it's freaking hot in here. And I'm laying on the ground to block this. So just a quick summary. Looks good. Slow pace. Can't help it. It's real warm in this shop. And all we have is a fan back there to exchange our air out to keep us flowing here. This is Niles' car. Inner fender wells on. Waiting for him to finish flash pan, fenders, and doors for me. He's doing all that work for right now. Once he gets that back to me, then I'll hang and bang it, line everything up on the car. I've been painting small things out, like the, the hood hinges, springs, inner fenders. Like I say, the rad support got painted. Now, you notice this. I normally paint all this black, but that's what he wants, so we painted the body color. And that's going to be the primary color. It's the 1950s. Six Volkswagen Diamond Green that we did on the Eleanor car a couple years ago and uh, he liked that color so much that's what it's going with and the secondary color which will complement this color is right up here so everyone knows uh, the 71 GTX is in hold right now. I will have a video coming up later on this week about that car um, and uh, how everything came through from start to finish to where it was on the rotisserie back in there to where it is now on all fours so that video is coming as well here's the mad max project guys this one here has been a humdinger for us in the past year um, ray was on this car he did all the body work i've been doing assembly on this on the off time engine dump is coming very soon the engine is under wraps right now as well as the transmission Okay, everybody, that's going to about wrap this video up right here. That's the updates going on currently in this shop. You'll see a video coming up of Mike 71 GTX as well, a nice timeline of where it's been to where it is now. It's pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to leave you guys off with a video. And you know we uh, normally have kitty cats in all our videos. It's just something we do here. We're animal lovers, my wife and I, and we take care of a little clouder. Well, um, we lost one of them this past week, and I want to leave you with a little bit of tribute to our little cat we call Blue. Everyone, thank you for your time. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.
coming.